Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you several features of the latest release of CRM Snapshot. Um, in this example, I'm going to show you the clone, deep clone, configurable clone functionality, uh, as well as how to utilize output parameters from a workflow uh, to make updates to clone records. So let's get started. In this example, um, I have a an invoice or uh, a list of invoices that I want to duplicate um, from a previous year and I want to update them um, for the current year uh, to bill my customers. So as you can see, I have my invoice here. Um, it's a 2014 annual park membership fee. Um, I want to create a workflow that I can run against this invoice to copy it as well as the details all of the product details that are contained within the invoice. So I'm going to jump over to my settings, go to processes, and select new. Give it a name. I'm going to set it as a workflow. Okay. And I'm going to tick these off, make this an on-demand process. Um, and since I've already installed Snapshot 3D, um, I can go down here to add a step. I'll see the Cobalt Snapshot section, and I'm going to pick the configurable clone. Description. Select set properties. Now, under the saved instructions, this is where I'm going to configure uh, the cloning and what particular relationships I want to clone. So, if I say look up more, um, I'm going to create a new one. So in this case, I'm going to copy the invoice and the products, and in order to do that, I'll select the invoice from the dropdown as the primary entity that I want to clone, and then under Relationships, I'll pick the invoice product. So this effectively will um, create instructions for Snapshot to copy the invoice and also copy the products that are tied to the invoice. Now I'm going to, just as an example here, um, I'm going to exclude a field from the clone in this case, I'm going to exclude the name because in a subsequent step, after I copy this invoice, I'm going to set the name, um, update the name uh, for 2015. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it. I'm, I don't want to copy that. Save and close. And then select that as my instructions. Save instructions. Save and close there. Um, and that's it for the clone step. The next step is to update the invoice after it's been created. So in order to do that, I'm going to start a child workflow. The cloned invoice. And what you'll see is after you've added the clone step for Snapshot, you're given um, two new entities created by that step. So the first one is um, the backup snapshot. So this would be the snapshot that's created on the original invoice. And then you have the clone snapshot, which is a snapshot that was created on the um, on the new invoice that was created that was cloned from the original. So I'm going to select that. That's the entity I want to run this new child workflow on. Um, as you can see, I tested this previously, so um, that's there, but we can create a new one just to run through this. So. Snapshot records. That's good. 
selected. I'm going to set this to be a child process. Make it organizationally own. And now I'm going to update record. And in order to get to the invoice, so the snapshot is just a, an activity and it's a, um, it's a backup of the invoice. Um, to get to the actual invoice, I need to go to the regarding um, here. Say regarding invoice. This is update for 2015. I'm going to set the properties. And I'm going to say this is the 2015 annual park membership fee. Save and close. And that's it. And I'll activate this. jump back over here to my invoice go ahead and run the workflow there's the workflow I just created I'll add that and give that a second to spin up created a copy of my 2014 invoice as you can see it's got all the products associated with it um, and went ahead and updated the name for 2015 and you're good to go obviously um, this is just a, a sample of what you can do there's a lot of um, a lot of possibilities uh, with the, the output parameters um, so if you have any questions or you want to um, get some more info on the latest release, head over to our blog. Uh, it's blog.cobalt.net slash, slash snapshot. And, uh, and if you want to follow us, we're on Twitter at CRM Snapshot. And leave us a message. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot.